it's Lena, and I'm here today with my empties. I really should decorate this box. It's an elf beauty bundle box that my sister gave to me. Anyways, I have some makeup, including some Project Pan empties. One of them I finished tonight, but I will be holding those off until the end so I can totally make you sit through the whole video, honestly. Gotta love honesty. So let's get started. Uh, first off, something utterly boring. Uh, cotton swabs that I pick up from the Dollar Tree, 250 in a pack. I finish those off. Toss that trash on my bed because that's totally where it belongs. That's something I was so happy to finish because despite my mother buying it for me the day after the fire, I figured out I really didn't like it. It is the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. I don't think this helped me with my acne at all. And even though I have greasy skin, this did not moisturize me enough. I had to add, um, I had to add all like facial oils to it to make it moisturize enough. Now it is salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide. I have discovered this year works better for my face, but I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. I'm, I'm glad it's gone. And I mean, I scraped it. I made sure that I used every last ew, bit of it. Like, I scraped the bottom, put it in a different container, and used it from that when it would no longer actually pick up from the thing. And it smells a little bit like acne medication, honestly. So, did not enjoy that. Would not repurchase. Would not recommend. Acne product that I would recommend, even though it has salicylic... Maybe it is salicylic acid that works better for me, and benzoyl peroxide does not. That still didn't do crap for me. But it is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Source Control Triple Action Mold. Toner. I got this on recommendation from Cassie from Thrifthick, who I'm, I will link to down below. And if you don't already follow her, you totally should, because she's awesome. But I used this as a toner, and like I said, I got it on her recommendation because she loves it, and it is magnificent. Treats acne even before it emerges, eliminates oil and shine, refreshes and soothes. I think it does do all that. I think it helped a lot with my face, along with figuring out the proper... Uh, facial wash to use, which is a Neutrogena knockoff that I get from the Dollar Tree, although if I couldn't find it, I would just buy the Neutrogena one. If you're, I'll, I'll make another video saying what I do with my skincare, but I really like this. I would definitely purchase it again, and I would recommend that anybody that has problems with acne or just oily skin, definitely try it out. And this is the last fa uh, facial care for me. It is the Pearly's Per, per Protect, it's Essential Daily Moisturizer for our Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen uh, normal for normal to dry skin. The full size of this is $55, and this was great. I don't think it's worth that. I got this as a sample from Ipsy, and then this month I actually got another one from Beauty Box 5, and the one I ever paid for before I, actually, before I unsubscribed. And it's really good. If you have the money to blow on a $55 moisturizer and you want something good, go for this. this. It's great. I just... My splurge moisturizer is $26 and it kills me to pay that. So I would not pay $55, but I'm sure it's a bigger size. But And I know this is supposed to be like some kind of nice, um, slightly more natural or something line, but I, I can't do it. I would not pay for it, but it is a really good product. Oh, no, I got more skincare. Something I got from another Beauty Box 5 that I probably would purchase if I can run across it easily enough. It is the H2O Plus Aquilibrium Marine Cleansing Gel. It was actually in my favorites last month because I liked it so much. This was a small sample, but it did last me like four or five days of either, I think I just used it once a day because I have to use my Neutrogena at least once a day or I break out again. But it was a clear gel with these little green beads in it, which I think is the marine part of it or something. Let me see. No, it doesn't say a lot of... Effectively foams away impurities. I don't know. I really liked it. So I would at least consider purchasing again. I know Walgreens is starting to carry some of the H2O Plus line, although I don't think this is a part of it. And I know that Ulta carries a lot more of their stuff, which is probably where I would find this. But they are a little on the pricey side. And I have facial washes that work. But this was just a really nice to use at least. Let's see. 
dry shampoo, Swall Professionals, the regular one. I really like this. It's only like $3, and I really like the kind of fruity smell. Yeah, still a little bit left of the smell in it, at least. I've never tried the keratin one, so I can't speak for it. And I hate the one I have right now, because I have the Batiste uh, dark, dark brown one, and it turns my hair dark brown, because they don't make one for redheads. And I think it stinks. Like, it actually, like, smells bad. But I will go back to this when I'm done. Because every time I try something different, I hate it. Here is something else I got from Ipsy. The Ava NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. And it's really expensive on their website, but if you go to, like, Ulta, you can get a big thing of this for, like, ten bucks. Which isn't that bad at all. It was really nice. I'm not sure if I would exactly call it a hair mask rather than just a good conditioner. But I mean, it, the sample actually lasted me for a good long while. That's what it looks like. It has some kind of sweet scent to it. So it does smell nice and it did condition my hair really nicely. But I have really dry hair too. So what might work as a hair mask on some people works more like just a regular conditioner on others. Uh, it has carabas protein and argan oil. I don't know what carabas protein is, but whatever. But this was really nice, and if I can catch it on sale at Ulta again, I might actually pick it up, but I would not pay their price, which is like 30 to 40 bucks. Let's see, um, kind of random. The Crest Pro Health Multi-Protection Alcohol-Free Mouthwash. Love it. Would totally recommend it, especially if you hate the alcoholic burn of like Listerine, which I do. I'm using Colgate right now, and I hate it, but I got some free samples of it, so I'm going to sit and use it. But I buy this on sale all the time, so I have like back stocks and back stocks. This is the blue kind, and it is my favorite, although I think I have some of the green and purple kind in my stockpile currently. It's good stuff. Take care of your teeth. I don't know why I stuck this in here. <laughs> It is the M&M birthday cake thing, and they don't, they taste mostly like regular M&Ms, and every once in a while you get the hint of like frosting, really, more than cake itself. I think that's why I threw it in here, was because I wanted to say that it doesn't really taste like birthday cake. <laughs> that's a random ass thing to throw in here. I have a thing of razor blades. I use the Gillette Mach 3. I guess I just wanted to show y'all that I used up a thing of razor blade. Oh, here's something. I have the Lockitan Dry Skin Hand Cream. Uh, I think it's the one with, yes, yeah, the one with 20% shea in it. This was a sample that I got from Sephora as part of some kind of like manicure kit. I know some people don't like the spell, it's kind of powdery smelling, but I did like it. And it did moisturize my hands nicely, but like, not this size of a tube, but a smallish tube of it is like $12. And I don't know if I would pay that, because I have hand, I like the uh, Soap and Glory hand food, that, and even a size bigger than this I can get for like $6. So, good, would definitely use it again if I got it, I don't know if I'd pay for it. Two things for my husband. Uh, here is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub that he uses every time he showers. I try to tell him that he should try mixing in a more gentle face wash in between, but he doesn't because he doesn't listen to me because to I totally don't know anything or he just doesn't care. But this is what he uses. This is what he goes through a lot. So there's that. I use it every once in a while if I think I need like a deep scrub and it's good for that. But. Here is another thing that he used. It is the Acne Body Wash Enriched with Aloe Vera that we got from the Dollar Tree. This stinks. Like not only did it not work to treat like body acne, this smells really weird. I would not buy this again and I would not recommend it. I'm not even sure if they still sell it right now, but it, no. Pass on that. And the rest of my empties are all makeup related. And most of them are sitting out here, but I forgot to pull this out. I finally finished my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray for oil control. And I do think it helps for that, but I'm realizing that the e.l.f. I have it right here on my desk. The e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set works just about the same for me. This is $29. 
this is three, and while they are a different size, I could buy like two of these, fill up this bottle, because I do like the sprayer on this much better than I like the sprayer on the elf one. I could totally just refill this and not have to pay $29, which I'm going to do. But I've heard about people having problems with refilling these multiple times and then finding that they have like mold on the inside of this, so just wash it between uses. Or wash it between refillings, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to set that up here so I don't accidentally throw it away. I have a sample of the L'Oreal Paris Miracle Blur Instant Eye Smoother. And it has a coupon on the back, so I don't want to throw that away either. But that's what the actual product looks like. Instantly erase the looks of wrinkles, lines, and pores. And I don't know. Like, I legitimately don't know. I probably could have gotten another use out of this, but I wasn't... I'm not going to hold on and use like try to use these things like several times. Once was enough. And it did, you know, fill them in, but I don't know if it kept like makeup out of them because I have a pro my makeup creases under my eyes throughout the day. I have to retouch it up. I don't know if it helped with that at all, and I'm sure this is like twenty to twenty five dollars, so I would probably not purchase it. But it did it. It did instantly erase the look of wrinkles, lines, and pores. Just I don't know if it kept up with it during the day or not. I have two things of makeup wipes that I will hold on to. <coughs> Excuse me. First is the Simple Tentative Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. I think these are actually really nice. They do smell a little funny, but not like atrociously funny. And they did, you know, take off my makeup, but they're kind of expensive. Like, they're about on par with the Neutrogena wipes as far as expense. But I don't have particularly sensitive skin, so I can't speak for how sensitive skin dealing they were, but. They didn't take off my makeup, and if you have sensitive skin, I would at least suggest giving these a try if other makeup wipes bother you. They didn't burn my skin or anything like that. Uh, if I could get them like at a buy one, get one free deal, I would probably pick them up again. And here is the makeup wipes from Costco. We got a Costco recently, so I was actually able to buy the big box that they come in for $10. It is the... Kirkland Signature Daily Facial Towelettes. They are hypoallergenic, ultra mild formula, gentle enough for use around eyes, effectively removes eye makeup with a single towelette. This is just a uh, 15 pack. They, uh, I think they come in either 15 or 40. Yeah, because I have a ton of these. So The 30 pack, my bad, comes with the little plastic doodad on the front of it that I usually end up killing on most things with the elf ones small right and they do as they say here I got another pack I got an open pack right here so I can actually like kind of pull it pull one out and show it to you they are like textured on one side which I guess helps with removing makeup I'm actually gonna stick this one back in the thing because I don't need it right now and I've mainly been using these for swatches lately because I have other things from other makeup brands that I want to try and review. So I'm trying to use those up before they dry up. But I don't want these to dry up, so I'm using these for swatches and when I do my makeup in the mornings. They're pretty good. Um, if you want a cheap way to buy a whole buttload of makeup wipes and you got a Costco near you, definitely go for these. I would totally recommend doing that. I don't like necessarily using the same one every time, so I like to try things out for my YouTube channel, so i got a ton of makeup wipes that I'm kind of not terribly interested in using all of them at once. But, and that's the only way you can buy them, that's something I didn't like, is that the only way you can buy these is to buy them in the box. You can't buy, like, a two-pack. I know, it's Costco, but that, was, that bugged me. Anyways... Next we have the Ulta Professional Flawless Prime, controls redness and is paraben free. Just a little mini sample primer that I got in some little packet of Ulta stuff. It's like it's one of those if you buy $19 of Ulta Cosmetics we give you this bag of junk for free. It's a- oh shoot! I didn't realize there was that much over there left. Oh well. As you can see, it is green. It is like pea soup green. Although I've seen fresh peas, and they are not that color. Kind of freaked me out the first time. It has like a silicone-y primer feel. 
And it definitely did help control the redness that I get in my cheeks. I'm not sure if I would buy this again because I have primers that I like better for different purposes. But if all you're looking to do is help your makeup last a little longer and control redness and you have an Ulta close enough to you, definitely give this a try because I thought it was pretty good. Two more things. I have an empty bottle of Revlon Color Stay in Ivory for oily to combination skin. And I pretty much got everything that I could out of there. And I, I was not as much of a fan of the Normal to Dry Skin formula. I really liked the, I really liked this one though because it went with my skin type better. And I would definitely try this again in the right color. I was using Ivory as a mixer for my darker foundations. Because I am one off of Ivory. I'm like the second shade, the second lightest shade in most brands is pretty much how it turns out. But the formula was really good and it did last all day. Uh, it stains the crap out of any sort of makeup applicator that you have. Just something about Revlon Color Stay does that. But I really liked it. So I would definitely recommend it and try it again. Especially if you have oily skin, I would definitely recommend this. Because my face. This is one of those that my face does not eat. Because my face can eat a lot of foundation. And finally, Project Pan item. The Revlon Color Stay was a pseudo Project Pan item because it mixes with my actual Project Pan items, but this one's a real one. It is the L'Oreal Colorish Balm in Heavenly Berry, and I used the last of it up today on my lips. I really like these. They give you just like a hint of color. Let me see. I can't get anything out of that one. Let me grab a new one. Yeah, I totally bought a new one as soon as I was done with that. Forgive me. Let me grab my new one and get you guys a swatch. Like, that's a good swatch of it right there. And like, it gives you just a hint of color, a lot of shine. I actually use this almost as a gloss over other things. Like, I used it as a gloss over a red color today, which is why my swatch, one reason why my swatch didn't want to come out right. Plus, I mean, that's it twisted all the way up now, and it's dead. It's dead, 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 dead. But I really liked it. I would obviously recommend purchasing it because I purchased another one. The one thing I love about it, it does not have glitter in it because some of the Revlon lip butters have glitter in them. Although these are not quite comparable because you can get more color out of the Rev some of the Revlon lip butters than these. These are definitely a little bit more of like a light wash rather than op getting real opacity out of them. They do have a nice smell too, so I really like them. Like I said, I would recommend them. And that is it. And thank you for tuning in for my long ass empties as they always are. And I will see you guys later. Bye!